Yo, yo, team, what is up? Coach Natalia here for a quick and dirty triple hit hit class. Just 15 minutes on the clock. We're going to do three rounds of work and it's going to get a little spicy. So let's get started. If you haven't already started moving, let's begin right here. I'm going to have you already start to go up to a nice little warm up pace about six or 10 for me. This is we're warming up. And then as a quick reminder about what we're working with here, we have our two handles down here on your right. You can bring that tempo up or down with those little arrows on the left. You have your pause, play and stop button. If you ever have any kind of emergency, you can always hit that nice big red button right in the middle. And then of course you have your gorgeous screen in front of you, which maybe you can see yourself in, looking fabulous. On there, you can have your timer, what you're working with, how much you're working, and then at the bottom, you're gonna have your quick keys that give you your different tempos. We're definitely gonna be using those in today's class, so feel free to right away up those so that you have them available for you. You should be right now about that six to 10 pace. We're gonna up the ante, we're gonna add two to that in just about 10 seconds to really start to get the body nice and warm. So give a little shake out, whatever you need to from the day, throw it behind you and let's up the ante by two beats with me, yeah? All right, from here, in today's class, we're gonna have a double step. So I'm gonna challenge you right off the bat right here to try to get comfortable with it. You can look down if you need to. I definitely find that's helpful in the beginning. And then begin to find a double step at this nice low pace. What you're gonna find is that it feels just a little bit like that back foot is falling away. I promise you, it is not, but I do want you to think about getting on top of that stepper, stepping in nice and deep, because that will help you feel a little bit more secure. And know that if this feels really uncomfortable, maybe today's not your day. You can do this whole thing without a double step. You'll have a really great time. But if you want that little extra challenge, go for that double step. All right, team. One last minute in our warm up. I'm going to have us up the ante another two. This is going to be our base pace. So wherever you're at, it should be, you know, somewhere between that 10 and 14, hopefully. Um, that's going to be your base pace. So I want you to remember it, know how you feel, maybe just a little bit out of breath, like you're working, but this should feel really sustainable. As we go through our intervals today, we're going to be adding and then we're going to be coming back down to this base pace. So anytime I say base pace, this is where you're at. Yeah. Again, somewhere between that 10 to 14 range. Everything we're doing is gonna be in threes. So we're gonna be working 30 seconds on, 30 seconds to recover. We're gonna be doing three different moves for three different rounds. So first round, 30 seconds on the clock. We're gonna add four to wherever you are now. And then we're gonna come back to our base pace. Let's go in three, two, one. Add four to your number right here and begin to push. I want you to really feel that you're on top of those steps. You're feeling like you're pushing it, that bad boy. Down, down, down. <sighs> begin to pull the belly button into the spine. Give me some nice big breaths. Shoulders back, nice and firm. We go back to our base pace in three, two, one. Come back to that base pace. Killer, beautiful. Ooh, sometimes I'm a little vigorous with my button pressing. <laughs> yeah, that's why sometimes those quick keys can be a little bit nicer, a little bit more precise. You got a full recovery here. How'd that feel? Yeah, first round, always a little bit of a warm up. But if you felt like you could push a little bit more, you're in luck. We're going to add six to our base pace this time for a really nice vigorous push in just three, two, one. Use those quick keys if you want. Let's push it up. Here we go. Nice. Feel that vigor. Really feel like you're on top of it. Enjoy this speed. Imagine there's wind flowing through your hair. We got this like we just don't care. Shoulders back for me. Get on top of that. Really dig the balls of the feet into that stepper. You have just five more seconds. Uh-huh, that's it. I know. Back to your base pace in three, two, one. Back to that base pace. 30 seconds. Ain't nothing compared to you, yeah? Last move. 
I'm gonna have us do a double step. So if you're new to double step, start off pretty moderate. Maybe you just add four. If you know what you're doing, you feel comfortable, see if you can add six to this base pace. We go into a double step, just 30 seconds, yeah? <sighs> Hand on that dial. 30 seconds, here we go. Finding that double pace, hands on the handles if you need it, looking down if you need it, I know I do sometimes. And find that nice big climb right here. Getting into the quads just a little bit more, really feeling those glutes as we press the ground away. And guess what team? You have just eight seconds left. We go back to that base pace, woo! And just another three, two, back to that base pace. So guess what? You've seen everything we're gonna do in this class. Now we get to just push a little bit more. Two more rounds, three different paces. First round, plus four. Second round, plus six. Third round, double step. It's that simple. So now that you know it, let's 2.0 it. Yeah, plus four. If you can, maybe you bump it up just a little bit. You do plus five either way. Let's kill it. Here we go in just another three, two, one. Add four to that speed and let's move. Nice team. Really feeling like you're on top of it, knowing that it's just 30 seconds. If you get out of breath, that is okay. You get full time to recover. This is a one-to-one -one ratio. I want us to fully recover so we can fully push. We get to go into that recovery in just another five seconds. Stay with me all the way to that finish line. Bring it down in two, one, bring it down. That's it. Find that breath. Actively try to slow down your breathing. Gorgeous. We are gonna add six right here to our pace. I don't know about you, but this base pace is almost feeling slow to me now because I'm ready to rock it off. We're gonna do that, adding six to this pace and just another three, just another two, one. Add it, let's move, all right. These stepper machines, so much fun. I love it because it is really low impact on the joints. But what that means is that sometimes you don't realize how much you're pushing. It feels almost like a walk in the park, but then suddenly you're like, oh goodness. Every time I step, <laughs> I'm rising up. So this is where we realize what that push actually means. Come to back to the base in three, two, one. Breathe. Allow it to be slow. Bring the heart rate down. Allow it to almost be boring because we're about to go into that technical double step. If you can, see if you can add six. <sighs> double step it, just 30 seconds. Yeah, all right team, do it with me now in three, two, one. We're moving, we're grooving, double time that step. <sighs> Stay on top of it. And we got this <laughs> moving in slow motion, but at a high speed, you know, these are the oxymorons of life. You are already halfway there. Can you believe it? I know I can't kill in the game, finding that groove, finding that music, whatever you need to right here. Last three seconds, two, one, bring it down to your base. <sighs> Killing it. Guess what? <sighs> We've only one round left. Short, sweet, with a little bit of spice. That's what this class is. So my question for you is, how hard can you go on this last round? Yeah? If you're like, Natalia, this is it. I'm dying. Great. That means you're exactly where you should be. Yeah? This is where the real work begins. When we push here, we're getting stronger. So plus four for you. If you're like, Natalia, I got a little bit more left in me on this very first round. Give me a plus six. 30 seconds on the clock. Choose your challenge. Here we go in two, one, let's move. Let's move, let's move. Yeah, go. No hesitation, you've made that choice. Now dig into it, yeah? 
looking down if you need to find a little extra something something watch your feet move watch yourself progress you are killing this game we get to bring it back down to that base pace and just another five seconds <sighs> two one bring it back down awesome 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 <sighs> this is a really great chance to also figure out is my base pace good for me if it's really, really low and you're able to speak kind of like I am now the whole time, I'm gonna ask you to up it just a little bit, yeah? You don't need to speak, that's my job, yeah? If you're like, oh, I can barely go on to the next thing, lower that base pace just a little bit so you can really push. Plus six at minimum. If you can, give me plus eight. Here we go in three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Yes, we got this. Nice team. This is that moment. Climbing that mountain. This might be your fastest round, right? That double step. We can't always go so fast. So use this moment to really push it up. Can you go one step higher? Just a tiny bit faster. Last five seconds. We go back to that base pace. Three, two, bring it down. Rest. Final interval of class. We made it. Final thing. This is it. We double time it, we double step it to the end, yeah? Choose the pace that works for you, that challenges you, but that you can do, yeah? Just 10 seconds. If you can, give me plus six. If that's too much today, just focus on that technique. Stay on top of it. Here we go in three, two, one, move. Find that double step. Yes, uh-huh. Letting those steps come to you. Finding just a little bit of patience in this bad boy. How smooth can you be? Yeah. We are over halfway there, killing it, finding that really nice tall step up, engaging those quads, engaging your glutes. Last five seconds. And bring it back to your base pace. Killer. Breathe. Monster work right there. Take a huge breath in with me. Exhale it out. Again, take a huge breath in. Exhale it out. Gorgeous. Come down by two steps, bringing that pace down. Maybe somewhere from that eight to 12 range. Slowly allowing the heart to come back under your control, allowing that breath to come back under your control. Gorgeous. Come down by two. <sighs> Snails crawl. Full control of the breath. Let this moment be a little serene. <sighs> Enjoy what your body is capable of. Take a moment, shoulders back, beautiful posture. And then we're gonna come off of that machine, allowing it to come to a stop, Whew, riding it down. And then just take a moment right here at the bottom, bringing one leg back, it doesn't matter which one, slight lean forward, try to keep that heel on the ground for a little calf stretch. Gorgeous, swap it out, same thing other side. Leaning slightly forward on a long diagonal for your calf stretch, yeah? So not letting the butt stick out too much, really sucking it in, yeah? And then come up to standing, grab one foot, and then again, tuck the tailbone under, and then just send the knee back for a nice little quad stretch. Gorgeous, gorgeous work. <sighs> Switch it out other side. Tucking the tailbone under, sending that knee back just a little bit. It doesn't have to be crazy in order to find that stretch. It's all about the relationship between the knee and the hip. That's what's gonna get that quad stretch going. Gorgeous, shake it out, shake out the arms, shake out the legs, gorgeous team. Then last thing, feet together for me. Take a huge breath in, hands come up all the way overhead. Lean towards the right. Just getting into that spine a little bit. Lean towards the left. Beautiful, open up the hands as you find a little baby arch, maybe twinkle the fingers down, and then team, you killed it. Thank you so much for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.